I bring in all the wishes and greetings to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> From uh, Speed Institute, on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed, uh, for doing amazingly well. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it's an honor to be with you, sir. A pleasure is mine. <laughs> to Dr. Siddharth and for scoring a top class rank of 61 in DM Medical Oncology. Thank you, sir. Uh, in NEET SS session 2021. So, <laughs> there we go. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. And uh, can you uh, brief me about your background and where you're coming from? Where you do your uh, medicine? Where you do your uh, yes, MD? So, and why do you want to do oncology? Yes. Sir, uh, I'm uh, Siddharth. I'm coming from Kerala, actually. So, I had I completed my uh, MBBS at Kerala in Pushpagiri Medical College. I did my MD in Osmania Medical College, Hyderabad. So I just completed my MD recently in uh, September. So like uh, August, uh, I had my exam, September my results came. So I actually didn't prepare. This is my first attempt actually. <laughs> Great. So actually I have to thank Speed for this because uh, the preparation, the background for preparation has given to be me by Speed actually. So I started uh, my actually preparation from uh, end of, uh, I mean, my final year. So, during my final year day, I got COVID actually. So, I was just checking what I can do during my free time. So, I just logged in whether I can prepare for uh, any super specialty program. That's how I came into speed. So, uh, it was a great opportunity. Like, uh, this is the first time like I'm joining coaching for a super specialty entrance. So, it was a, uh, it was a great experience for me so far. <laughs> really, really wonderful, doctor. Really wonderful, and um, and really, I'm happy to know that a gap of three, four months, you're gone yes, to the sir. next stage of life. That's very important, and uh, and really good. And uh, and I want to ask you, what are your preparation strategies? How many hours you have been uh, spending on this? I mean, uh, when can you give something on that, sir? Uh, actually, like for preparation hours uh, during my MD itself, like I started to have uh, a good foundation. So during that time, I used to uh, read continuously like for three to four hours. So daily, on a daily basis, actually. So as such, I didn't have a super specialty preparation. So I don't know. I didn't know how to prepare also. So I wanted some backup or a uh, push for me. That's how I joined Speed. And it gave me a new outlook to how to prepare. Especially if I have to mention, uh, I have to mention Karthigain, sir, actually. The way he uh, approaches a, a particular subject or a particular uh, topic, it is like uh, very important. He will tell you the important uh, points which has to be focused in each topic. So that that actually gave me a new concept on how to prepare for a neat SS entrance. So, and uh, I, I have no idea how to prepare before that. So it was speed which actually gave me the idea to prepare for a super specialty entrance, like what to focus on, uh, what are the key points to be noted. So, especially the Harrison tables, which have been mentioned in the app, uh, it was, uh, and the sessions were too great, sir. Like, even though it was for the medical uh, group, uh, specialty uh, as such, it is very helpful for me as an oncology aspirant. So, that helped me a lot, especially the, all the Harrison tables. I, I, I have to especially thank you for that, sir, because that entire Harrison table was a kick for me, because I couldn't go through the entire Harrison for the exam, because the time was limited. So within three months, I just went through the tables. So I could crack it this time. <laughs> very good, very good. I'm really happy. I'm really happy for you. And I could see a lot of uh, happiness and enthusiasm in you. And uh, that is Thanks. really, really satisfying. And uh, how many questions did you attend the exam? Sir, I attempted all the questions. Sir. Since it's my first attempt, I <laughs> actually answered all the questions. I don't even know the answers till now. <laughs> what are this? But I gave some uh, calculated guesses for everything. So I attended all the questions. And uh, like whatever I am sure, like I used to stick with it. I didn't change any of my options. So and uh, moreover, the DM medical oncology question paper was tough actually this time. Because they asked more of uh, molecular oncology and uh, uh, next generation sequencing. It went on to an another level. So, so usual questions which have been asked in the previous sets, it was not repeated actually. So it was uh, like uh, a different, the oncology question part was difficult. The medicine part was good, the radiation part was good, but oncology part was uh, somewhat difficult this time. But I knew if it was difficult for me, it will be difficult for everyone. So yes. I thought maybe I should take a chance. 
correct so correct. that is why i attempted all the questions sir so i could i knew that ranks uh, i mean the, the marks will be less for everyone so i anyway give because if you try some 10 questions at least you will get it five correct what is the message that you want to give to your juniors i mean or i mean aspirants of medical oncology yeah sir mainly like uh, i feel from uh, next time the pattern is changing so i think we have to focus more on uh, medical all the subjects i i think we have to give equal importance to all the subjects so if earlier we can devote time only to oncology for preparation and medicine but for a separate uh, like 40 60 you can divide but right now each topic is important so we have to give 100% to each topic i guess because if you are even preparing for oncology you have to know 100% of endocrinology as well so that is the point i, I think so i think the preparation is going to be tougher for the students yeah sir it will be very tough from now on so they have to know each aspect it is not uh, easier like because now if anyone can opt any subject so there is no uh, option like you can choose only two subjects so everyone has an uh, equal opportunity and uh, the pool of candidates will be more so we have the preparation should be stronger and i recommend speed for this part because i have gone through the medical group classes actually because before it was uh, announced that the pattern will be changed the medical group classes were conducted i attended it so i knew like uh, the, the speed was covering most of the topics actually like uh, uh, it was awesome sir like uh, the, we got to know about like I, most of the things about endocrinology nephrology and all. so it was good it was uh, i and i expect the same out like if you follow the same uh, Uh, materials provided by speed i think it will be easy to crack really, really great doctor and really great and to hear good words from you and also and uh, i give you one minute uninterrupted time for you to thank whom or you want to thank so far in your <laughs> medical <laughs> career until today yes yeah, sir uh, uh, actually like dr manu krishna was my ug professor sir so in my ug college he was a, i was about yes, to ask sir. you that because the yes, same sir, kind yes, of enthusiasm as he has you also have almost some <laughs> look similar looking personality from pushpagiri medical college because <laughs> and his network is very strong and definitely i was about to ask you you started it anyway i mean yeah. you just give a full yes, sir, actually period. actually i i have no idea to go for a pg in for a post graduation it was him who showed the doors actually for a post graduation i remember during my third year he had i had a medicine class for us so he gave an outlook to how to prepare for a post graduate entrance that was the first interaction i had ever had in my life for a uh, post graduate preparation so he gave uh, the concepts how to prepare and all he gave an outlook that was an offline class like i saw him on per- personal level that time so he was the first person who introduced me into this uh, preparation phase then uh, like uh, faculty wise like all the speed faculty especially oncology faculty and uh, i have to thank uh, uh, dr manasa ma'am also the endocrinology it was very tough for me actually so she made it easy actually the topics were good she was the candidates were crisp and nice sir so i could follow it uh, like endocrinology was a nightmare but she made it easy for me sir. and uh, uh, and moro i have to thank you sir because the videos you post like any update is there because i don't usually follow the whatsapp or telegram groups i usually follow whatever update that comes from you if there is a pattern change or uh, any not- new notifications and the motivation you give sir look like i am forever indebted to you sir for uh, the motivation you have given me through because uh, three three to four months preparation is difficult and you pushed me harder to go forward sir yes it has to somebody has to do it <laughs> <laughs> so it's good and i'm really happy and delighted uh, to make an interview with you and uh, and your wishes will be conveyed to all the respective faculties and uh, thank you sir and once again i wish you all the best and all the success to have a great career in dm medical oncology as a great medical oncologist and uh, thank you sir and also to contribute a lot to the speciality and also to serve thousands and millions of people men who are going to come across your service and uh, your passion and an attitude will definitely Uh, will make give them an amazing service and they will be very happy with you and keep in touch with us and definitely thank you sir. we love sure, to be sir. in touch with you and uh, keep going wish you all the best and all the success thank you sir thank, thank you, you.